Osafe, a restaurant and bar inspired by the Mido cafes in Japan. Meido cafes are the result of combining cuisine with cosplaying. Like my waitress here, who's dressed up as a cute French maid. Kosafe is Singapore's very first Meido cafe. It was started in 2006 by a 16-year-old cosplayer. The concept for the Meido cafes comes from a popular 1980s computer game theme, which uses maids to create the ultimate fantasy home experience. Now, this is one dining service I know I'll enjoy. Welcome to Casafe. My name is Livia and I'll be the maid serving you today. This is our beverage menu and this is our food menu. Great, thank yes. you. For information, um, our soup of the day will be cream of broccoli. Wow, my very own maid to serve me. She's certainly very cute. Hmm, I wonder how many maids I could get to serve me all at once. Ribs. I wish I had dinner already. How about some desserts? It sounds good. Would you like to have some drinks too? Sounds delicious. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Kosafe has an extensive menu with everything from ribs to pizza. But tonight, I go straight to the business end of the menu, indulging in dessert and drinks and they taste oh so good. While I enjoy my dessert and drinks, I meet founder Ferlin Tan, who tells me all about this quirky dining experience. So tell me, Cosa Fe, this cafe, how did it come about? Well, I was actually a cosplayer about two or three years ago. I started in 2005, and in 2006, I actually got represented, chosen to represent Singapore in Japan. And I went there and I actually saw, you know, made cafes going on. I was like, wow, this is amazing. It's, it's so fun, you know, I was like, it's a really great idea and it's, I think it will work in Singapore, so I decided to bring it back. Okay, now, ha did you have to adapt your Medo cafe, you know, to suit Singaporean's taste? I did, a lot. Because the ones in Japan, well, Japanese are very open-minded, you know, they have their own set of rules and you know, how they grew up and the politeness of the place is very different from Singapore and the language itself is very different as well. Plus, Singapore is still very conservative, so we have to tone down a lot of the stuff that they do in Japan that we can't do in Singapore yet. For yes. example? For example, some of the cafes, like, they actually kneel down and serve them or, you know, they take the tablespoon and then they'll stir it for you and then they'll feed you and stuff like that. So it's really hard for the Singaporeans to actually understand what is that all about, so yeah. After hearing all about maid cafes and cosplaying, I get Ferlin to show me what it's all about. Cosplay counts for the word costume play, and it's actually dressing up and acting out as a character, be it for leisure, a photo shoot, or professionally. So you just pick out a character and then you actually act out and weave out the costume itself. Oh, I love these costumes. Oh, hi, Carrie. Hosea, well, I would like you to meet Terry, she's the Hi. manager of the place. Oh, wow, okay. You know, I've seen so many of your costumes here, they look fabulous. Like, where do you get them from? Okay, they come from mostly Hong Kong, Korea, and some from Japan. Oh, mm. wow. Does that mean that Singapore doesn't have a big cosplay community? I mean... Yeah. Singapore has a, quite a growing cosplay community. Just that, yeah, these are imported from overseas. Alright, so you yeah. don't manufacture any of them here in Singapore? Huh? No, not really. <laughs> Can you imagine me in this one? Oh, oh yes, I think you look lovely. Thanks, <laughs> As Terry tries to find the perfect costume for me, she tells me more about the local cosplay scene. Did you know that while the ratio of boys and girls into cosplay is quite balanced, many girls choose to dress as male characters? Hey! Hey, you, what do you look think? amazing. You look absolutely beautiful. You're so cute. Yeah, but I don't see myself walking around Sunday City dressed like this, man. Actually, on the contrary, we actually do. We actually what? dress up like this, you know, walk around, having photo shoots, you know, for the events. What kind of events? Fun. 
Well, the biggest one in Singapore is actually called Cause Fest. Mm -hmm. It's held. It's held every year in I think about July. Oh. And it's the biggest event in Singapore. What do you do at this festival? Um, we go there, you know, dressing up as our character. You know, we take photos with our friends. There's a lot of photographers that come. Wow. We take photos. We pose. You no, know, we. We do perform as well, you know, sing, dance, act, or whatever, on stage and stuff like that. It is so fun. Sounds fun, I can't wait. <laughs> ha, I'll see you later! Ha! Hey, wait for me! Let's meet my friends from cosplay! Hey guys! Hey! You start doing cosplay? Um, I started about two months ago. Okay, what character is this? Um, I'm Lavi from D Grey Man. Wow, okay, and then why did you choose cosplay? Uh, so far, it is fun and it's very interesting. I see. How, how often do you, you get together to do this? We get it like once a month. Once a month? Yeah. And, and what do you all do together? Um, we normally take photos and we strike poses that is relevant to our anime or manga. Watching. Coming up next, I break out the big wheels for some high-speed fun at the racetrack. Urgent news report. We are getting images.